Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is cloud computing and its seven awesome features. I have been living in Kansas since 2008, about 11 years, and for a long time, I had no idea what these towers were used for. I thought they were just showing off. I realized years later. They are water towers, one component of the water supply system used in most urban cities in the U.S. Following is how the water supply system works. Water is pumped from a river or a lake, and gets treated in a water plant. After being treated, drinkable water is pumped to the storage tank on the top of the water tower. From the water tower, city residents or business get their clean and drinkable water. However, as water consumers, we do not care to know how the water supply system works. What we care about is whenever we want to use water, we simply turn on the faucet, and there's always water. We pay water bills for what we use. Cloud computing works in the same way, but instead of selling water, cloud computing providers sell computing resources in the form of data centers, servers, data storage, networks, and applications through the internet. As cloud computing customers, we pay for what we use. As a matter of fact, we use cloud computing services when we use Google Email. Or Yahoo email. We do not need to know where these email servers are located, how our emails are delivered, or who manages these email servers. What we really care about is we can use emails anywhere and anytime. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing is on-demand self-services, including data centers. Servers, storage facilities, databases, networks, and applications over the internet. Cloud computing relies on sharing of resources to achieve economies of scale. Cloud computing is flexible, scalable, and malleable to customers. They pay only for what they use. Let me talk about seven essential features of cloud computing. Which I call awesome features. A stands for availability. It means cloud computing is available 24/7. W stands for web-based or internet-based services. Cloud customers access cloud services through the internet. E stands for elasticity, which means cloud. Customers can easily scale their use of resources up or down as their needs change. S stands for shared resources. Cloud customers share the cloud resources over the internet, just as water supply systems are shared by city residents. O stands for on-demand self services. Cloud customers can get computing resources easily and quickly with minimal IT help. They can simply sign up for the services, pay for what they need, and start using them. M stands for measured services. Cloud customers pay for what they use monthly, just as water consumers pay water bills monthly. E stands for Economical cloud computing is more cost-effective to many companies, especially for smaller ones. You don't have to remember all these seven awesome features, but if you get four or five, it will be good enough. There are a lot of cloud computing providers in the U.S. Top providers in 2019 include. Amazon Web Services, AWS, Oracle Cloud, Microsoft Azure. What a silly name! 
Asia, not Asia, Asia. I never get this right. IBM Cloud, Google Cloud, and just to name a few. Cloud computing has significantly benefited many businesses by reducing information costs and freeing up resources to focus on core business rather than IT and infrastructure management. Cloud computing is here to stay and the way of the future. We can expect it to grow fast and even dramatically in coming years. In next videos, I will talk about three different services models, IaaS, PaaS, SaaS, and four deployment models, private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud, and community cloud. Please stay tuned.